um, about what we do at the front desk. So as you all might know, I run the front desk. I'm Maggie, and I've done that for about two and a half years now. So um, we're happy that you have an interest in running the front desk. Um, primarily, you know, John is would be your mentor, which is a, he's a wonderful mentor, and has he can be your volunteer. You may talk to, and you may talk to myself or Carrie and Carter as well as a staff person. So just to, I just wrote these down so, so you can just kind of keep in mind of what we actually do up at the desk. Um, of course, we well, we're the first people that they see when they come in the main gap, or excuse me, in the lobby. So we try to make that first impression special and um, happy so they remember they come here. And you know what? Why don't you walk up here if that's okay? Sorry, I'm moving the camera No, I just <laughs> realized here. I was like, oh, we're right, right in the way. We're right in way here. Um, so, yes, so we just try to welcome them as they come in. Oh, that's right. It's okay. No, it's okay. Um, so, yes, we just try to welcome them as they come into the museum, try to talk to them and see if they would like to go through the galleries. A lot of folks come down and just want to hang around in the lobby a little bit, look around into the Wapiti. The Wapiti is always free for people to come in and look around at. And if they want to, of course, check out the museum shop and cafe as well. So, of course, we take um, money as well, so if you would like to work the front desk, I ask that you feel comfortable taking money, running credit cards. There will be training. Do not worry. <laughs> Diane has been through a little bit of the training process, and we're happy to um, give you as much training as you need. You'll never be on your own in the summertime. Just please do that as well. Um, so, another thing we, do, we try to do over the front desk is briefly explain the exhibits. A lot of folks want to know what they're going to be seeing as they go through the galleries before they decide to go through or not. Um, also, much to our detriment, <laughs> um, the front desk is in charge of the phones, phone calls as they come in. As the phone calls come into the museum through the main lines, it falls into the front desk in the museum shop as well as security. So we're one of three switchboards in here in the museum. So if you ever have a question of not sure who to direct it to, um, one of us is always there to help you. And once you get to know the staff a little bit better, too, you'll understand what everybody does. Because about, probably about eight times out of ten, people call asking for some, some, somebody in particular. They say, I need to talk to Carrie. No problem. We'll just send them right through. So that happens quite frequently. Um, as well as the mission tags, and I was in town, and I found that I still had my on. I'm not exactly sure where it is right now, but we have everybody a little tag to let them know, uh, to let security know that they've been through the gal or that they are going through the galleries. It just um, shows them that they have paid and been to see us at the front. Um, as well as, like I was just helping that gentleman over there with the audio tour. We have an audio tour that has about 40 pieces um, of art on them on our permanent collection. So we um, do a really good job of explaining those as they walk through the galleries as well. And um, also, every once in a while, like this summer, we will get an exhibit. We ask no photography in one of the galleries. So we just try to do a very good job of telling those folks which pieces in the galleries are not able to be photographed. And we try to explain to them it's not that the flash does any harm to the paintings anymore, but it's simply just because we don't own the rights to those paintings. We've had a few, and sculptures, excuse me. So we've had a few people, we've had one person come in okay, um, once a few summers ago, actually it was quite a few summers ago, and she went and took a picture of the entire exhibit of Andy Warhol prints and then threw them up on our website. We can't have that happen. So, we just try to keep it, we just try to get them to explain, to understand why we don't allow that to happen in here in the galleries. And Curatorial does a really good job of explaining that as well. So, those are the main duties up at the front. Um, again, you know, John is happy to, um, you know, we all do things a little bit differently up at the front desk. Uh, we all have, of course, the common goal is to help the customers as they come in but everybody has their own little way of handing out audio tours and then the tags as well as the, um, the audio tours as well. So if you know, you will probably gain your own way to do things and that is just fine with me. I understand that completely. I used to do this same job just as a tiny little <laughs> visitor services person when I was in high school. And so it's kind of fun to see how it's gone past the past few years. 
Uh, does anybody have any questions? I'm sorry, I can't, hope I didn't ramble through that too far. Yes, surely. And if they have young people that are coming with them, we also know. We could, yes, absolutely. Thank you. And I forgot to add that. Thank you. So Charlotte brought up their critter cases. We have critter cases from ch uh, children 2 to 4, age group 5 to 7, and 8 to 10. And each in, in, in one of those are different activities that the kids may do as they go through the galleries. The 2 to 4, of course, the children, I shouldn't say of course, but <laughs> the children cannot read. So we make it a lot of more kind of tactile things. So inside of the 2 to 4, there is a bandana that is about, about this big that shows the different tracks that, pe that the kids may find throughout the museum in the paintings as well as in the floor. There's, not one, there's a couple of them over near, by the front desk. That's okay. We're good. <laughs> Thanks, John. So um, we just try to get the kids more involved as they go through the galleries and then of course the, the activities get a little bit more a little bit more challenging as the kids get a little bit older. So yes, Charlotte, good point. And how, how Sure Great. So she's asking about the checkout process. Um, yes. The easiest way is we have a little, um, we just have a little form that we actually just check in when they're um, when they're checked out, and then when they are brought back in, do we do another check mark as well? So um, yes. It's, no, no names. You know what we try to do at the front desk is just kind of keep an eye on them because we only have three per age group, and they do go fast. But Oh, right, in, in the blue, right, yes. And I'm, I'm sure, I think we're going to be getting another one here, hopefully soon. So, um, yes, we, you know, we, unfortunately we did have one taken, unfor unfortunately, but, you know, that does happen, but it does say on it, please leave within the galleries or with the front desk staff, but, you know, sometimes that does not happen. But what we like to do up at the front is just to keep an eye on the parents as they're walking through. You see it hanging on their shoulder, like, oh, are you finished with that? You know, just to check in with them too. And then, or as a, just a courtesy, when they, when they take it, just say, don't forget, this comes back to me. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's a suggestion as well. That's a good question. Anybody else have a question of any kind or anything? You said we mentor with um, John. How do you know yes. when John's working and stuff? So very good question. Uh, I think he asked about the schedule of John. <laughs> and um, what we like to do ideally is I will actually help you the first few days and then John can come in. Uh, you can coordinate with him and he's very flexible um, except for around exhibit timing so because uh, that's when he works a lot with Ron in, and Adam in the galleries. So you are more than welcome to talk with him and then what typically happens is I step away from the desk at that point and let him go and you can be on the register with him um, and he's yeah he's very flexible at any time so we can give you his email address and call or you can, you can call me too but it's pretty flexible for sure and you don't have to have a set time Diane offers a time on Thursdays from 11 to 1 John is on uh, Tuesdays from 11 to 1 but really any time is great with me. So do you have regular people that do this, or is it all volunteers? Oh yeah, I yes. So I'm full time, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Christina right here is um, my um, yes, yes. She is here on uh, Tuesdays through. Uh, excuse me, Tuesdays. Not get this scheduled. Sundays through Thursdays this year, and then we also rotate with folks in the museum shop as well. So we have, in, in the whole department, we have about, I think we have 10 staff members at this point. But I, as being a staff member as well, need to attend meetings at some point or trainings or things like that. And so that's when I, John comes in and takes over for me and then I may go attend to other meetings as well. So when you volunteer for the front desk, yes. um, is it like, Those are two hours. If you want to be here for an hour, you can be here for an hour. How often? Then? I mean, that is up to you. That is up to you. However much you want to come in. If you want to come Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour, great. Any amount of time, I am eternally grateful for. So. Whatever you like, you will know. Is there so. more than two people at the desk at a time? Or? Typically not. We like only to have two people, one, one, one excuse me, both registers being occupied. Yeah. And then, if anything, you could come and you know help answer the phones or help with the audio tours. 
it just really depends on the day. So do you send out, like, if you have a lot of empty spaces you need to fill, do you send out a notice and say, boy, we could really use some volunteers here, here, and here? Um, I, it pretty much it's a case-by-case -case basis, actually. I, I would actually just call you and say, Kathy, would you mind coming in to help me out for an hour this afternoon? I have a meeting and I can't get coverage between my departments. Would you feel comfortable coming to help me? And you would never be alone up there, except for, yeah, until you feel absolutely comfortable. Yeah, it'd be hard to get comfortable like two hours a week or something. Oh, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So Especially handling money and transactions. And, you know, that would be very... And we really try to limit the amount of time somebody's waiting up there. You know, we try to get them in and out in under a minute. Just because of how the extent is uh, in the galleries as well. So, yes, exactly. So, it's pretty, you know, you just have to remember we're the first people that they see. We want to say, you know, thank you after they go through and even ask how their visit was and see if they want to become even a member if they'd like to do that. I can show you how that process as, as well. The way we work up with the memberships is uh, folks can go through the galleries. If they would like to become a member after they go through, we can reimburse their entire admission for the day and pretty much essentially put it towards a membership in one way or another. So it's quite a special place and it's been a second home to me for a long time. So um, we're, I'm very happy that you all have an interest in this and let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And um, I'll give you, um, I have a few cards down here that I'm happy to give you and we can be in touch about this as well. But anything else, ladies, that you can think of? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you yes. You might want to mention oh, go ahead. Um, about tour groups. Okay, thank you. Oh, and yes. like docent scheduling. Sort of? Yes, so uh, good reminder, Diane, thank you about the, the, the groups that come through. In the back behind, um, behind the front desk is a red folder that show uh, which um, docent-led and group tours are coming through the museum on a day-to-day -day basis. So anytime you're curious about what's happening that day, you can check that red book, as well as in the front there's a little weekly update that I write out for the staff going so everybody knows what's going on, where people are meeting, and things like that. So yes, thank you, Diane. That's a very good point. I, um, well, we, we try to welcome every group that comes in, announced and unannounced. I try to you know go over by the totem pole so they can actually look at something when they're talking to me so they don't um, lose interest. And then we either send them through the galleries with a docent, or they may just walk around on their own as well. Do they have a scheduled tour, or can they just drive a bus? Up? Somebody will just drive their bus up here, and everybody goes. Ideally, I would love a phone call, but I understand that if it's raining and they need a backup, they won't call me, and then that's fine as well. That's so then they all have to pay it. Right? Majority of the time, they're a group leader because it's a backup plan or whatever. They're and they're as they're part of the group, they were billed by that company. Nine times out of ten, will that group leader come in and say, hey, I'm with Call Out Vacations and our trip got rained out today. I have 50 people with me today. And then they will just give you one card. Yeah, nine times out of ten, like 9.5 times out of ten, they will not pay individually. And a lot of those will go without doses. Exactly, yes. Because they are announced, yes. But we do have uh, more and more docents coming in as gallery guides, which is very helpful. Uh, Susan Brooks comes in on Tuesday mornings from uh, 10 to 12. And we just actually signed up Sally Berman and Sally Byrne yesterday for uh, gallery guide timing as well. So during that time, instead of offering the audio tour, you can say, oh, and I've got Susan here who would love to give you a tour or at least an introduction to the museum. So that's something we can offer them as well. And I think, and Charlotte, you come, when is your day? Do you have a day that you come? I try to come on Sunday. Yes, okay, yeah. And, and you do a great job of walking around and inter talking with people, answering any questions, and we're trying to get that on board as well. Carrie and I are working hard on that as well. So, yeah, good question. Anybody else? got a few people waiting for us, so I think I'm going to head back to the desk. And um, thank you all very much again for your interest. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Maggie.